Today let's take an issue of debentures. First of all, let's take issue of debentures of premium. Issue of debentures at premium. Now, when the debentures are issued at the at premium, let's see what are the journal entries that we have to make. And uh, here, supposing we have a when the question doesn't specify anything as to when the premium amount is demanded, it is assumed that the premium amount is demanded along with the allotment money. Right? So, assuming that, uh, let's say something like this. Uh, 5,000 10 percent debentures were issued uh, let's say of rupees 100 each were issued at a premium of let's say rupees 25 right okay now here the first entry as it will be the same thing bank account debit to uh, 10 percent your debenture application account right and then you will have uh, debenture application account debit to 10 percent debentures with the amount right okay now let's come to the allotment here let's assume that the premium is charged along with the allotment so first of all we will have debenture allotment account debit to 10 percent debentures account and then to securities premium reserve so this is uh, the same way as we did in uh, share capital right and then when we receive the money it is bank account debit to debentured allotment right the entries for the final call first call and final call will be the same as we have done earlier right now so basically this one this is the entry that we have made here sorry sorry this entry of debenture allotment this is where the premium is coming right okay if the premium is charged with application in that case if at all if, 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 if it is charged with application in that case it would come here in the question if they specifically say that the uh, amount of premium is charged with the application money then it will come with the application entry otherwise it is presumed that it is taken along with the allotment money only right now this is as far as issue of debentures at premium is concerned now let's look at issue of debentures issue of debentures at discount now in this case issue of debentures at discount the discount is always allowed at the time of allotment whether the question says anything about it or not the discount is always with the allotment money right now first of all the journal entries for issue of debentures at discount let's take up a small case here let's say 
10,000 12% debentures. Of rupees hundred each issued at a discount of ten percent, right? Now, uh, what is the discount amount? The discount amount is equal to ten percent of rupees hundred, right? So that is equal to ten rupees, fine. So now, look at the entries here. The first entry that will be bank account debit to debenture application account right and then debenture application account debit to 12% debenture account fine and now we come to the allotment here we will have debenture allotment account debit Now here you will have discount on issue of debentures account, right? Okay, that will be debited. Discount on issue of debentures account debit to 12% debentures. So whatever is the, supposing I say here, let's say the application money, um, is rupees 20 okay let's say allotment is rupees 40 and uh, 20 plus 40 is 60 and let's say first and final call is 30 rupees right okay so now if you look at this uh, here this application is 20 allotment 40 20 plus 40 plus 60 plus 30 is 90 rupees right okay so that means in this place that is in the allotment it is actually what it is actually 50 minus 10 10 rupees is the discount okay mm -hmm. so now when you make the entry here first of all uh, this bank account debit to debenture application this will be uh, 10,000 into 20 rupees right so that is 20,000 fine no oh, sorry 2 lakhs fine so it will be 2 lakhs here and debenture application the same amount will be transferred now now when we come to this debenture allotment account uh, what is the discount on issue of debentures the discount on issue of debentures is 10 rupees per debenture so this is 10,000 into 10 right so that is how much 1 lakh rupees right debenture allotment account that is only 40 rupees so this is 10,000 into 40 which is equal to 4 lakh right and 12% debentures, we will put the amount as 5 lakh, right? And, uh, sorry, when you receive this amount, uh, this one, after this, see, this is the first entry we have. First entry here, this is the second entry, this is the third entry, and now I'll write the fourth entry here. This is bank account debit to debenture allotment this is the money that you are actually going to get so discount is already given so that means you will be getting only this much that is 4 lakh rupees right so this is how discount on issue of debentures is to be done now uh, Now, uh, let's look at the treatment in the balance sheet for both the cases. So, first I am going to take up issue of uh, debentures 
at premium, right? Now, in this case, in the balance sheet, uh, you will have, <clears throat> see, the first thing you have here on the liability side is equity and liability, right? Under that, you will have shareholders' funds, right? Under shareholders' funds, we will have reserves and surplus, right? Now, whatever is the premium amount, right, that premium amount will be shown here in reserves and surplus, right? Here we will put the premium, securities premium reserve, whatever is the premium amount, that will come here. Understood? Right? Okay. And then we have already seen that the debentures itself will come under this long-term borrowings uh, that will come under non-current assets. So here you have non-current assets. Under this you will have this long-term borrowings. Right? Now whatever is the uh, whatever is the actual amount that is supposing I have like this 100 rupees is the face value and uh, 10 rupees is the premium right okay huh? and let's say the number of debentures that are issued is 5000 fine so 5000 into 100 is how much 5000 into 100 is 5 lakhs so in long term borrowings you will have 5 lakhs and in the premium amount it will be uh, 5000 into 10 right which is 50000 like this okay hmm? and the actual amount that we have received, this is the total. In the total, we will have 5,50,000. Okay. So, now coming to the assets. Under the assets, we have current assets. Right. Current assets. And inside current assets, I have got uh, cash and cash equivalents. Now, this is the total cash that we have received including the premium so here i'll put it as 5,50,000 so the total here is 5,50,000 okay mm -hmm. now as far well as the balance sheet for issue of debentures at discount is concerned we had this uh, example here so now in this case the discount on issue of debentures is how much one lakh right okay now we assume that uh, we have made only four entries here uh, but we have to make the entry for the first and final call also right okay so now see in this you have equity and liability under this you will have shareholders funds right and under shareholders funds we have reserves and surplus now in case of um, uh, discount it is a loss right so whatever is the amount of discount that will be shown as a negative amount here like this right and then uh, here this is your non current uh, one second i i wrote it wrongly over here uh, i wrote non current assets in this case of issue of debentures at premium this is the liability basically non current liability right okay here non current liability and here you will have whatever uh, suppose this is 10% debentures or 12% debentures. Now, this will be the actual value of the debentures uh, that is at 100 rupees, right? So, here we said 10,000 12% debentures of 100 rupees each, right? So, that comes to 10 lakh rupees, right? So, it will be shown as 10 lakhs here, right? the 
this 10% debentures is basically what? It's a long term borrowing, right? So here we have long term borrowings, right? Okay, now when we come to the assets here, asset in one, this is assets. In assets, now we are going to have uh, okay. In assets, we'll have non current assets, right? Inside this, we will have other current assets, other non current assets, and uh, current assets here we will have cash and cash equivalent and and uh, other current assets okay now the total loss I have written over here this uh, 1 lakh rupees what I have written here this is the total discount fine now uh, the discount is to be written off in a period of five years right so this one lakh is supposed to be written off in a period of five years means it will be divided by five so per year 20,000 will be written off right that is the loss which is being written off every year right so now what we do is the loss has to be written off in five years so this year 20,000 is written off right this year 20,000 is written off so in reserves and surplus the amount that will come is only the amount which is going to be written off this year which is 20,000 fine and in other current assets now 20,000 written off to be written off next year to be written off next year right now this amount will come under other current assets this will come as 20,000 and now 20,000 is written off this year. This 20,000 is going to be written off next year. So what remains? The balance is 60,000. Okay. This 60,000 will be written off in year 3, 4 and 5. So that will now come as non-current assets. Fine. And here in cash equivalents, you will obviously have um, the amount that you actually received. Right. Okay. So the amount that we actually received is 9 lakh, right? So if you total this, this is 10 minus 20 is 9 lakh 80,000. Here also it is 9 lakh 80,000. So this is how we make the balance sheet in the case of issue of debentures at discount. You will have to remember this writing off of the total discount over a period of 5 years, right? So we have seen the journal entries pertaining to issue of debentures at premium and discount and we have also seen how to make the balance sheet in both the cases so with that i end today's session bye